Looking forward to racing on Tuesday and catching up with trainer Alan Griff ahead of race day to hear a little bit more about his runners. In race one, Statesman will be the first to step out. Now last time out he was a little bit keen. He didn't do himself too many favours, Alan, a bit headstrong in the running. Yeah, no, it's, he was pulling and uh, 1400, he just literally pulled himself into the ground. Back on the poly, 1200 and um, hopefully it will be a better run. In race two, La Picanita steps out. Now, she debuted locally last time out, and she ran a fair race, finishing in the placings. I thought it was a credible race first time out, and if she can build on that, I think she'll be a big runner. In race three, we'll see Stealing the Thunder, and she'll also be having her second start for the yard. Yeah, Stealing the Thunder is having a second run. Um, a little bit disappointed. She was a little bit outpaced to start with. We have up to her in um, distance and add the blinkers. Hopefully that will give her a little bit more toe. And, um, you know, she's beautifully bred and we just got to try and get a win under her belt for her. Race four, Exhale will be cutting back in trip. Yeah, Exhale ran a disappointing race, you know, and he just fell in a hole with 2,200, obviously just too far for him. And uh, I thought that he'd be able to get the ground, but uh, you know, we'll be back to the drawing board and we'll start again. Two runners in race five. Holly's view definitely better than her last. She'll be joined by the lady love, who despite things not going her way last time out, actually ran a fair race. Yeah, Holly's view, you know, she's um, never been great on the poly, but uh, she got a huge whack when she won and it's taken her a long time to get down to that competitive margin and uh, she went straight back to where she came from after her win. So I think she's a little bit outrated, yeah. The lady love always there knocking around and uh, have had um, the blinkers added to her. In race six, we'll see Marquez. Now he'll be stepping out for his first run out of the Maidens and winning on the poly last time out proved to be a fan of the surface. Yeah, he did seem to enjoy the surface and uh, the handicapper might have got right. He was the best rated horse in the day and didn't uh, increase his rating. Um, he just started to fade that last little bit, so we've brought him back to a 1,000 and uh, hopefully we can have a repeat of performance. We move to race seven where we will see the two runners. See Gioco, we're in her box this morning. Beautiful chestnut filly. She really enjoys the poly. In fact, she's at best on the surface. She races alongside Arturo. He came from a long way back last time out to run second. Yes, um, see Gioco, yeah, she's... Uh, Disappointed to be honest last time out. I thought she was going to be a real big runner that day and uh, she just didn't kick on with it. So hopefully she'll get that out of the way and back yeah. to her best. Um, Archero ran a cracking race last time and, uh, you know, hopefully he'll just finish off a little bit better this time. He was running on strongly and uh, he was just a little bit unlucky, I thought, at the end of the day. Final race of the day. The yard will close with the three runners. Can't say no. Call to glory and catch your breath. Now, can't say no. Great run in the listed lady slipper stakes last time out. And she really has shown to be at her best on Polly. I think she can be a decent runner here. Catch your breath. Well, she'll have her post maiden run. She races off some solid form lines. And call to glory was an unopposed maiden winner last time out when beating male opposition. Yeah, I can't say no. He's a two year old, but she seems to be at home on the Polly. And. Uh, in the right sort of division, she's competitive. Um, catch your breath, won a nice race last time out and obviously trying the maidens, uh, post-maiden run. She's drawn five and uh, she she's not bad. She might still want a little bit more ground. I know she won over 1,200, um, but I think she can still go up in distance. Call to glory, beautifully bred uh, daughter of Kingman and uh, she won really impressively after a long break. She's a top horse that could follow up, so uh, all three of them with a chance, but uh, I think it'd be an interesting race. The yard definitely end with a useful hand.